Okay, this is a quick update uh, for August 11th, 2017. We're looking at 92E, which was Hurricane Franklin, which has moved across uh, Mexico and back into the, uh, or rather into the uh, East Pacific Ocean. And uh, we have the night to day transition, and we can see the uh, where the transmitter is actually hitting this storm. You can see the photoshopping there, of course. This uh, gauze-like feature, and then as we move to the uh, daylight, we can see some areas where that transmitter has been uh, targeting and superheating uh, 92E there. Let's watch and watch how these expand out. These craters will expand out as that superheating process uh, superheats the water vapor, and of course, uh, superheated water vapor expands, and that's what we see here. We have these craters. As we move to the next frame, these expand out. And that is what causes the blast pattern on the edge of uh, the uh, storm. Let's just let it run. Now there's another uh, interesting feature we're going to take a look at on the East Pacific uh, map. Let's first take a look at the, uh, the infrared map. We can see the depth of that water vapor and also a big hole being uh, opened up. That's from the transmitter activity we were just looking at. So they are superheating the storm and trying to uh, break it down. But uh, superheating and destroying a storm are two different things. And uh, let's go to the big map now and take a look at uh, the uh, Northeast Pacific map right here. And we can see that uh, high pressure has been installed right through this entire area. We can actually see the outline of where this transmitter is working to block this uh, storm, formerly Franklin, from moving up. See, everything is moving clockwise right here, which means that this is also going to be caught up in this giant area of high, of, of high pressure spinning clockwise, which, of course, will bring this up towards California. And still today we see that a high pressure blockade, as uh, we had predicted, uh, nothing is getting into uh, California. In fact, everything is moving sort of away and partially out of uh, Arizona as well. We can see all that happening uh, right now. Uh, so the forecast by the uh, puppets on television is looking like it's not going to pan out. Now it's only uh, 1030 right now in the morning, so things may change. but What's what's shaping up here is that the, the high pressure is actually building. We're seeing a thinning of the water vapor right here. And everything is moving slightly, just gradually to the east. And as I mentioned, this area here, that we have some strong high pressure building. And that uh, this, this storm is, is uh, walling up into this high pressure. So we have a very uh, clearly delineated uh, border right here of a very dark area which is the high pressure blockade that will prevent any of this moisture from getting up uh, into the uh, Southern California area. So uh, the uh, terrorists controlling our weather are uh, they're making a better effort here to destroy this storm. Now uh, on the other side Franklin they allowed Franklin to just plow right through Mexico. I don't know how many people died. I have not looked into that. But that was allowed to move right across Mexico and, and cause the damage that it did. But here we see, uh, as, as an opportunity arises for rain, as this uh, clockwise pattern continues, we have an opportunity for rain in the southwest. And, of course, that's being stopped. So they, they allowed it to move across Mexico, but they won't allow it to move up and dump some rain up in the uh, southwest, which needs rain. So once again, we see a very uh, clear outline here, and that will uh, prevent the uh, moisture from getting up into the area by evaporation. This is very strong, high pressure, and so that will uh, prevent this uh, storm from moving up. We have the same pattern uh, right here. Uh, the jet stream is walling up into this area of high pressure, has nowhere to go. <coughs> <coughs> has nowhere to go. And uh, we still have the low right over here, which is now slightly moving north. 
And we've got low pressure over uh, Canada right here, which is uh, starting to move into uh, Montana. Be nice if Montana got some rain. There's a, a severe drought condition up in uh, uh, eastern Montana, I believe, as I remember it. Okay, so that is uh, that's the water vapor map. We can take a look at the uh, the infrared map. And we can see that storm, blast pattern right here on the north side of that storm. We'll keep an eye on all this. This is the high pressure zone right here. And nothing's getting into uh, California. All right, let's take a look at some of these other maps. This is the uh, East Pacific water vapor map. And uh, this is 92E. Let's take a look at the hurricane map right now. This is 92E, which has moved out into the Pacific and has a 90% chance of a reformation in two days. So I, I think by tonight uh, we'll see we'll see a tropical uh, storm or or just rather a, a tropical disturbance already formed. This is already at 90%, so I figure by the end of the day we'll we'll see a tropical disturbance noted here. All right, <clears throat> back to the uh, East Pacific map. We can see the intensity. Look at this large cell right here. That is just being blown apart, superheated, and wiped out in very short order. Just within the seven and one half hour time frame here, we see that very large cell uh, completely implode. So the microwave transmitters from space are targeting these areas all day long. And uh, I can see, looking at this map today with this high pressure, there's definitely a plan to uh, stop this storm. You can see that outline right here. This will not be allowed to get anywhere near the southwest. But they let it run right through Mexico. That didn't matter. <coughs> Here's the infrared map. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, quick update, and uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on things. We might do a part two uh, later on. Okay, that's it.